to write and self-publish your book is the blueprint for an author's success in navigating from the writing process to the hard copy and everything in between. This is the third book from author, personal development and self-publishing coach Daniel Francis. He admitted that the process was challenging, which gave birth to his next bright idea. A one-stop shop, not just for local, but Caribbean authors, with all the information needed from conception to the physical copy of their book. Daniel sees the first ever Caribbean author conference as his way of giving back to a community that has given him so much opportunities as a young Caribbean author. One thing I, I always talk about is the fact that we, we go to school and we hear about the normal jobs, the lawyer, the doctor. I wanted to be a doctor at one point in time and you don't really hear about other types of careers that you can take. And I would love for you know, a young boy, a young girl to just say, hey, I could be an author. I know an author. I, I interact with books in a way that makes me feel like I can be an author. One thing that Daniel impressed upon is that your age, social status or demographic does not matter since everyone has a story to tell. I want someone to see someone who is in the 80s doing books and say, oh, they, the dust of that manuscript and made it happen because it doesn't matter the age. It's really about like what you want. And I think a lot of the issues that persons have is they don't have the information. They don't have the community. So what we are building here is now going to be able to share that information freely. Share in that community freely so that now there won't be any barriers to you being able to put your book out there outside of your decision to do so. Inspired by his love for technology, 13-year-old Omari Bernard is the proud author of four books, which includes activity books. He is by no means daunted by sharing his passion and knowledge through books and has plans for more in the future. Yeah, there's a few things I want to work on. Like, I want to write a book in the near future about the history of Trinidad. I've already written a book that's currently in the editing process about AI and after that, there's many other things I want to do. Maybe I could do one about chess, maybe I could do one about math, many other things. Educator and author of Poetic Juices, Alicia Lawrence, said it is never too late to pursue your passion. Go for it. Go for it. Because this could have been a reality for me maybe 10, 15 years ago if I was willing to just take the risk and step out. And sometimes I think we're not willing to do that as individuals. We're not willing to risk it. If you have a dream, if you have a whole lot of talent just bottled up inside, put it on paper and publish it. Member of the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service and author of So You Want to Be a Police Officer, Arthur Carr, had a message for his colleagues. Don't be afraid to be different. Well, I'm aware of some officers who have been dabbling in some writing, you know, so, but they just have not released their books as yet. You know, um, because it is a bit, um, how I would say, um, persons are a bit cautious in terms of being serving officers and writing, you know. But um, yeah, there are persons who are thinking of it. And I think, um, I hope that I provide some sort of inspiration to some and they, they take that next step to become authors officially and publish their books. Daniel explained there's room for everyone to put their ideas on paper, no matter the genre. And in the future, wants the Caribbean to be known for more than just soca music, sunny skies and sandy beaches, but a literary hub. Personally, I believe that there's a book in everyone. I think for those who are afraid of putting out a book, just think, just know that no one is ever going to produce a book like you. It's not, they're never going to have a, a book that has your unique fingerprint, your unique personality within it. I am Ayana Carter and this is See Yourself on TTT.